I look in the mirror and I just see an alien. Man, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's like I, you walk in, everybody's eyes are on you. Everybody. I couldn't handle it. You don't want pity. You don't want people to feel bad for you. I just felt like I was hiding something constantly. You cannot alter your family's life this much. You have to figure this out. So this is a light therapy cap. You should see lights flashing. Yeah? Um, so basically, it's encouraging hair growth. I've had my wig for a little under two years. So in April is its birthday. <laughs> Ebony Jean, who was a pageant contestant. I've noticed how a lot of people don't really have too many African-American bodies to look up to. I knew I wanted to give wigs to people. I want to find out who's supplying the hair and where it comes from, where it goes. There is such varying quality and um, accessibility for hair. They're like, why are you depressed? And they'll give you an antidepressant, but they won't give you <laughs> yes, a will. prescription to go find a wig. For someone with cancer, with alopecia, with trichotillomania, with lupus, it is not a cosmetic issue. It just isn't. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome you to FDA's patient-focused drug development meeting on alopecia areata. And now, Andrea. Uh, hello. Um, I cannot worry about my hair anymore. Not think about it. <laughs> 